Today we're going to look at rounding functions out of section 2.3 nonlinear functions. It's worthwhile to start with a chart with formula shown, break the functions into two groups, round, round down, and round up, and ceiling and floor. Rounding has a second argument that says how many digits do you want to round to? with positive digits meaning digits past the decimal point and negative digits being digits on the front side of the decimal point. Ceiling and floor look at multiples rather than number of digits. The number we're going to use is pi or minus pi. Notice that pi is pi open parentheses close parentheses. If I now look at my numbers, pi if I round it to one digit, it's 3.1, 3.142. If I round it to minus two digits, that's rounding to the nearest hundredth. It rounds to zero. If I round to four digits, 3.1416. Rounding down is what you expect. It's similar to rounding, but it's always rounding down. Rounding up is the alternative. Notice that pi rounded up to minus two digits is 100. If I look at minus pi, then it's worth noting that when I round up or round down, it means rounding towards the decimal, rounding towards zero and away from zero, not positive and negative as we normally think of rounding up and rounding down. So I think minus 3.2 would be what you get rounding down, minus 3.1415. But Excel rounds the absolute value up and then takes the sign. For ceiling and floor, we're looking at multiples as opposed to rounding. This would be something like you're buying eggs in dozens and you want to have a ceiling or a floor. In this case, though, it is actually the negative number. The ceiling is the higher, the number that's higher for the negative numbers and the floor is the number that's lower. So notice there's the different behavior between the rounding functions and the ceiling and floor functions. Thank you.